Hello and welcome to B2Evolution. Today we're going to have a run through B2Evolution CMS so you can see what you can actually do with it. So of course prior to uh, using B2Evolution you need to install it and there's different ways to do that. Either you're going to use a partner web host who can install it in one click for you or you will download the latest version and you will install it on your local computer or on your web host. That's up to you. In my case, I have already installed B2Illusion here on my local computer. I'm on local host here. So, but it doesn't matter where you install B2Illusion. Once it's installed by default, B2Illusion version 7 will show you a screen like that, which says B2Illusion CMS is installed and working, but there is no content yet. So, how do you create content? Just click here and log in with your admin uh, account and the password will have been provided to you during the install process. So here we are now on the back office and you see the quick start wizard which is shown to you automatically as uh, B2 Evolution has detected that you have absolutely no content uh, configured yet. So let's create a demo website. So what we'll do here is that we're going to start with uh, a standard site which is going to be made of just one collection. A collection can be different things in B2 Evolution and the most common things are a blog, a photo album, a forum, an online manual or a tracker collection. We're going to see what those different things are later. Let's just start with a sample blog. We're also going to create demo users because it makes uh, things nicer, especially with uh, demo comments and also a demo email list, which we might need in some situations, even if we don't really look at them today. So here b 2 created the demo site and here we can directly go and check it out. So now the homepage of your site is uh, this one. So here you have uh, a blog which has uh, several blog posts in reverse chronological order can go to page two, page three, page four, and at the end you have your first post, second post. When you go into a post, you will see the post and comments below it. You can also leave a comment and go back through different posts. And the, all these posts have some demo content, which will teach you a couple of things about B2 Evolution. So that's one thing. Now let's go back to the back office. Here we are on the dashboard, but I don't see the quick start wizard anymore. That's because we already created one collection, which is our blog A here. So just to show you how things work, I'm gonna delete it so you can see you can start over again and again and again without issues. So here I cannot delete immediately because this uh, collection is used for many different default things. So just click here and here, just go to none. Just remove those. Save. Go back to collection list and click delete. And now you can delete your collection. So here you're already back at the quick start wizard. Even if you go to the uh, main da dashboard, you are back here and you can start again. This time, let's select block B, what happens then? So let's create block B, what happens in that case? View website. And here you have a blog which is configured differently than the one we saw before. It has a front page and some uh, featured posts which we can go into. Sorry if you are vegan, this was open source content that we could use. <laughs> So again, you can go through posts and you have comments, it's very similar. So now let's go back again uh, to the dashboard, look at the list of our collections. We have only block B. Let's go through the deletion process again. And now we're going to do something more advanced that b 2 Illusion can do is have a very complex website. Okay, back there. So this time I'm going for the complex site which has 
many different collections all together. I'm just going to leave out uh, the tracker and the online manual, which I'm going to create later to show you how you can add collections even once you've started a website. So let's create the site like this. We're going to have a global homepage, a blog A, a blog B, a photo album and forums. So the creation process is going to take a little bit longer. As you can see here, we created several collections, two blogs, a photo album, a forum and a homepage. So, and let's go check that site out now. So this is the homepage collection, which is something a little bit different than what we had before. And it actually aggregates content from different other collections. For example, here it has posts from the blogs. So if I click here, I go directly to that post, extended post in my blog A. And you can also see we switched from the homepage to blog A. Now we can also go to blog B, which you also recognize from before. Here we have yet another collection, which is a photo album collection. If we go into one album, we have different photos here, which we can zoom. And we can also go through photos here and say, oh, I like this one. Then another collection that we have is the forums collection. That's a forum. Let's go inside. This one has no topic yet. I could create one. Hello world. This is my first post. Anyone here? This we don't need to worry about now. And this will have created a blog post. Uh, actually, there was, if I go there, this group already had, this form already had two topics. I can dig in and I can see a conversation between different users. So these are the created collections and here we also have a contact form which was added in the configuration here. So what is this he up here? That is actually the site skin. You could use a different one here and we could use uh, site tabs. Then your whole site will look differently. You can add a logo here. And let me change it again quickly. Let's use nav bar. Some, again, something different. And if you go to the settings, you could automatically group the collections and then what it's going to look like if you go there is blogs you have those two blogs blog a and blog b which are under a single heading photos is alone forms is alone and about is still here this here has been generated automatically from this list because those two blogs are under a single heading but you can also do much more and much more cu customized uh, navigations through the, the menu editor that is here but we'll keep that for another video so what i wanted to show you now is that once you have created uh, a site which has already several collections i'm going back to the to the front page of the site here going back to the dashboard. So once you have already created a site like this, what you can do is you can still add new collections in addition to the ones you already have. So for example, I want to add uh, what we didn't add before is a manual. So I'm going to use this uh, skin for now. Do we want to initialize that uh, collection wave the demo content, so create empty. For now, we want the demo contents because it's going to make things easier. Is it going to be public or is it going to be a restricted access? So now we're going to make it public. 
and as you can see the new manual collection has been added here so the manual has its front page and it has also its uh, navigation here uh, even this one will have several levels of nested navigation and this is a cross-posted post which we're gonna also talk about uh, in a different video so that manual collection where is it it is back in our list of collections so this collection is uh, in no section right now but if we would want it to group it with the forums uh, we could add it into this group so to do that we would go manage settings and then choose what sections to go into here we go into the forms section which we're going to rename to make things more clear and go back to the list now you see those two are grouped in the forms section let's rename this to area 51 so now you have it here you go back to your front office and you can see it here and now you have the manual here and the forms here and that can continue now if you say oh the photos we actually this collection we don't actually need on our site anymore you can also go and remove it let's go to the back office list of collections and delete this one boom done let's also delete uh, this uh, will no longer be used see it doesn't have it's not anywhere here but just to clean up nicely let's delete that here too all right so i hope this gives you a good first overview of how you can manage a complex website with multiple collections in b2 evolution in some other videos we're going to go into details about each collection type and what you can do with each links are under the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and be sure to let us know if you need more of these videos thank you see you next time